Trump Jr. made a stop in Jacksonville today. Supporters packed Diamond D Ranch, that's just west of Cecil Airport, to hear the president's oldest son. On your side, Alex Osida spoke one on one with Trump Jr. after that event. And let's go to Alex Nye now. And JD, the president's son, feeding off of the energy of that crowd while also reinforcing to get out and vote early. You know, Donald Trump fighting for Americans, you got to now fight for Donald Trump. Shoulder to shoulder, masked and maskless. About 250 people hanging on every word from Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> the eldest son of the president taking jabs at former Vice President Joe Biden while rallying the Republican base to vote early. Of the nearly 7 million ballots cast already in Florida, registered Democrats are edging out Republicans 41 to 37 percent in terms of turnout. But with six days to go, campaigns are not giving in. We spoke one-on-one -on -one with Trump Jr., who explained the campaign's focus on Florida in the final days. Because no one's going to do it for us. Uh, you know, my father's a fighter and a worker. His kids are the same way. We're going to fight and work hard for him. Donald Trump Jr. is not the only presidential son set to make an appearance on the first coast. Eric Trump is set to be in Jacksonville Beach this coming Saturday, according to the campaign. Reporting live, downtown Jacksonville, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you.